today, I would like to narrate a fictional story titled Appreciation, written by me. Why can't you just do it right? I've been explaining it to you for thousands of times, for heaven's sake, Mrs. Sharma started. I'm sorry, madam, she told her right. Well, this was normal. Every morning after the Sharma members would wake up, screaming, shouting, and arguing would start in the house. Be it the earliest of mornings or the latest of nights, it was well known to the neighborhood as well. Today, the reason for the arguing was because Sheetal accidentally dropped few utensils while keeping them in place. Mrs. Sharma was a very strict woman and she had a quite high temper, because of which she used to get angry even in the smallest of mistakes. But if we talk about her anger issues, we wouldn't say it's her fault. It is because she have a lot of pressures and things to deal with. Her husband, Mr. Sharma, used to live out of station and she had to take care of her two daughters, Rina and Lena. On top of that, she's an employed woman, so she also has to take care of her job, which caused her stress and due to stress, she used to get angry quite fast. But Sheetal was just a 13 to 14 years old girl because of which she was too young to understand about Mrs. Sharma's problem. On top of that, she was also quite young to not make any mistakes. And we wouldn't call her human if she wouldn't make mistakes in that age. But to make things worse, Rina, the younger one, used to always make fun and tease Sheetal because she was Sheetal came from a poor family and Sheetal used to mostly get scolding from Mrs. Sharma. But Lena was a kind-hearted person. She used to empathize and sympathize Sheetal a lot, but um, she could not do much, so mostly she only sympathizes her. But things had to change. Soon, because of the coronavirus lockdown, Sheetal went home and couldn't come back. Mrs. Sharma had to take care of all the household work. Mr. Sharma did came home, but still it did not help. Mr. Sharma then realized how hard it actually is to take care of all the household works and she felt bad for scolding Sheetal so much. She started appreciating Sheetal, but it was already too late. In the end, I would say that remember to appreciate people when they are with you. Appreciate them at all times, but also appreciate them in front of you, them because only then they will become encouraged to do this kind of work and every single work has its own dignity never underestimate someone's hard work thank you thank you darsana for the <coughs> wonderful story and now we'd like to over, yeah, we'd like to proceed to our next uh, participant, Arijito Das. So I'll check the availability. Yes, uh, Arijito Das is present. Kindly unmute from your side. Arishito, you have to speak loudly. Your voice is not clear. Just a minute. Yeah, now you can continue.
Good evening, everyone. Myself, Murtito Das, studied class two St. Paul's Academy. Now I am going to tell a story about Robert Bruce and the spider. Robert Bruce was the king of the Scotland. Once his enemy attacked him, he fought very bravely and lost the battle. He ran away and hid inside a cave. And thinking what to do next, suddenly he spotted a spider. It was trying to spin the web to one end of the another cave. The spider tried again but failed. The spider crawled up and chuckled again. Bruce counted six times the spider, the spider fell. It still didn't give up. The spider, the seventh time the spider tried, the thread didn't broke. It, it still, it went a little further. The thread still didn't break. Slowly, the, it complete the, the spider complete the span to, Complete the spawn. Now Bruce told himself, if a spider can try so many times and succeed, I also go and make gather me. Fight for my kingdom and win it again. Bruce decided not give up. He went back for baby and won his kingdom back. Okay. Anyone guess what is the moral of the story? Okay, I am telling you. The moral of the story is keep trying till you succeed, but never give. Thank you. Thank you, Arijit, for the beautiful story. As uh, now, uh, the next participant is Mujaffar Ahmad Bhatt. If you 